first tonight, a woman in Greenbelt comes home from vacation to find all of her belongings gone and two people laying in her bed. Yeah, wild story, frightening here. Police are asking for help to find the two suspects involved. Paris Jones is live in Greenbelt. And Paris, you actually spoke to this victim who I imagine is still pretty shaken up over this. Yeah, that's right. And she told me when this was going down, the male suspect got physical with her to stop her from leaving or calling the police. She says this was such a scary experience that she's been having nightmares. Coming back from vacation to strangers on her bed. Not only were they in my home, everything in my home was gone except for my bed because he details how he loved my bed so much. Um, and I'm like, who are you? And he says my name. He like, you didn't pay your rent. I'm like, what are you talking about? I paid my rent. We're concealing the identity of the woman who stays in this apartment for her safety, but she tells us at first she tried to leave, but the man you see in the video stopped her. He tackles me, um, and I'm like, sir, are you, this is my home. You, you're you not going to let me leave? He's like, no, I'm just saying you're not going to call the police. I'm just saying you're not going to call the police. I'm going to give you an apartment. You're just not going to call the police. She says he eventually calms down, so she starts recording him as he's packing his things and explaining how he got in. Please show me how you got in. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you step by step. Is that it's three ways you can get in, in, in your apartment. You got everything, man? Yes, please get all your things. I'm going to see you nothing behind. Nah, we wouldn't. I'm going to tell you how. I'm going to tell you how. Nobody can ever come in without a key. I can't believe. Yeah, it's it's a learning experience. Three ways to get in. Mhm. All right. Here. It's been almost a month since this happened, and she tells me she still doesn't know where her belongings are close to $50,000 worth. She says she's still in disbelief. Like, I just couldn't believe this was happening to me. I see this on TV. They really just took over my apartment. I was just trying to remain calm because I just, but at the same time, I just couldn't believe this was happening to me. I come home and literally two people are in my bed, like relaxing. Now, she says before he left, he told her he planned on doing this again at another apartment. Tonight, Greenbelt police say this is something they are aware of, and currently they have officers actively patrolling in that area. We can confirm we did see them out there today. Something else that she told me today was that the apartment complex is allowing her to break her lease. Guys, back to you.